Hey, it's Bridget, and welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. This is kind of a chat channel. It's a little bit of an experiment because I am super casual today. I'm going to head out to the farmer's market this morning. It's the weekend, and I was reading some of my mail, my email, and thank you for your lovely comments on the YouTube channel and for some of you reach out to me on email. Just know that I can't respond to everyone, but I do read my email as well as my comments, so thank you. Um, I wanted to look up something. I'm always inspired. I'm probably, I might get emotional. So emotional potential warning, warning, warning for sensitive people. Um, <laughs> I always am so touched when young people reach out to me like kids you know teenagers reach out to me it kind of surprises me because i'm a mom i have four kids myself my oldest is 18 heading off to college in fact we just two days ago went to the college registration thing and there's a lot of energy around that anxiety worry excitement <laughs> future oh my gosh all sorts of stuff and it kind of surprises me that young people maybe like or resonate with my work because my my daughter doesn't really <laughs> she's kind of like what like i'm used to teenagers not listening to me let me just say that i shouldn't say she doesn't resonate with my work she totally resonates with my work but well, i shouldn't say totally she can't she probably does i don't know we don't talk about it all that much um but <laughs> It surprises me when teenagers actually listen to me. So it's like a shock, you know? But so I got uh, an email from someone who is a young person and, and I know you watch the channel, so thank you. I got your email, thank you. And for those of you who are younger viewers who are watching, hey, I wanna tell you a couple of things. Uh, from this psychic mom to you, okay? I recognize that not everybody's situation or home life experiences are rosy. Okay, some are far from it. And even if you do have a supportive family who loves you unconditionally, you might not feel comfortable even talking to them or reaching out to them, or you might feel or be in a super state of hyper awareness about how your emotions are affecting your family. And so you maybe, be, maybe are withdrawing from them in your relationships with your mom or your dad or your grandma or et cetera. And Truly, during your teenage years especially, you need them the most, especially if you are challenged with things like mental health challenges, and that's normal. Anxiety and stress are two very common health-related, mental health-related circumstances and situations that all people, not just teenagers, deal with, but because of the teenage years being so pivotal and transitional, and your bodies are growing and your mind is growing and everything, and you're experiencing life through a whole bunch of different layers of energy, it can be so intense and I recognize that. But even if you are in a family where you feel loved and accepted, it can still be difficult for you to feel like you're putting your stuff on other people because you know, like I, as a mom, I totally am gonna worry about you as my kid, right? And be concerned about how you're feeling and if you feel good about yourself and if you're having positive and healthy relationships and how other people are responding to you is a huge worry of parents. Like parents, we, as parents, okay, so teenagers that are listening to me, as parents, most of us mean well. We just don't really know. It's not like we got the parenting job because we were hyper qualified as wonderful parent role models and mentors. No, we're trying to figure it out too. And we, most of the time, our intentions, we mean well, we love you. Maybe we love you too hard. And because of that, you feel like we're telling you too much what to do or how to behave or how to act. And really what we're projecting, we're not trying to project our fears on you. We're not trying to project our fears or our expectations that you're gonna fail or that the world isn't gonna accept you, but it might come across that way, okay? Our intentions are to just protect our babies so that we want you to go into the world with bubble wrap on and feel loved and safe and protected no matter how you dress, no matter how you look, no matter how you act, how tall you are, how wide you are, 
how girl you are, how boy you are, how in between you are. We want you to have good, positive, healthy experiences. So we want you to be protected. So when we, when we say, hey, you might want to think about this, we're not trying to say conform. We're not saying that. We're not saying don't be who you are. When we say, hey, tone this down a little bit, we might be saying, hey, you're entering into a, an experience where you've not been before, like a job interview. And if you want to make a good impression, you do have to be aware, in awareness, not conformity, in awareness of the expectations of that work environment. They are not trying to change you. You are trying to get a job. Very different. And we can take it super personal. You can take it super personal. Why? Because you're hypersensitive. Because you're a teen. You're in this cool, beautiful, fluid state of life, which is totally confusing, full of contradictions. And as a parent, it is so painful. <laughs> My God. It is so painful to watch you go through that stage teenage years, high school, and the struggles, and the having, getting bad grades, getting a uh, instructor, a teacher, that really is a horrible teacher. Because there are, there are teachers that suck at their jobs, and there are teachers that are un flippin' believable at their job too. So there's a balance, but that's what life is like. There's a balance of people. There's a balance of experiences that you're going to have. And we can't just have one type to keep you protected and safe you have to have the contrast to learn about that it's don't take everything personally but be yourself as a person you know we don't have to like force ourselves or be in our be in other people's faces and be all angry about other people's views and values and it's easy to do especially in politics for me too i get really up in arms like oh my god like what are you legislating this is my body this is my body let's have a lesson my body your body for example okay you guys so i understand that like get out of my space kind of feeling right that happens to adults too not just teenagers but there's kind of this this place i feel like where if i have the opportunity to positively influence your feeling about yourself, I am all about it. And utilizing energy and psychic connection to do it is a beautiful way because there's so much power in energy. Energy is not intended to be manipulative or fearful. It's not manipulative and it's not intended to be fear-based, okay? I know that there's some weird dark stuff out there that's contrast to most of the psychic development, intuitive, energetic healing, work that's out there there's some contrast there's some dark stuff but what i'm talking about is the energy of who you are at your essence and utilizing that recognizing that it's powerful and beautiful no matter what has happened to you no matter where you go no matter what family you're in no matter what what kind of job you have no matter how good or how bad you do in school none of that matters in the context of energy your energy is pure it has got so much potential in it and the tricky part is the translating that. How do you translate that flow of your unique energy, your beautiful, vibrant, brilliant energy into human life, into context, into a way that is applicable and practical? You can. The first thing is being in a healthy awareness of yourself. Have a healthy, healthy opinion, healthy view, healthy perspective of you not by identifying who you are in the context of society but identifying what you are at your core that you are a spirit you are a pure beautiful spirit and at your core no matter what you've done in your life no matter what you've experienced no matter what's been done to you no matter how you've been defined or identified that core of who you are is just pure it's positive it's perfect perfection it's unconditional and it's pure love is all it is inside of you even if you don't feel love even if you don't see love even if you feel like you're not lovable does not matter there is a baseline your spirit baseline has so much energy of love positivity and to tap into that frequency is the first step and you can do that in tons of healthy ways tons of healthy ways 
I mean, people have talked about, I'm sure you've heard about, oh, meditate. I'm not going to tell my teenager to meditate because number one, I don't even think she can sit still long enough to do that. Number two, that sounds like something old people do when they have nothing better to do. To be honest, okay, you guys? For the, those of us who are watching that actually know and have been through the ringer a few times, understand that meditation is very valuable. But there's lots of different types of it too, right? So what I would suggest is getting in touch with your spirit by having quiet time that's not on a phone or a device or a tablet or anything like that, just quiet time outside in nature, sitting on a park bench, not listening to your phone. So that means no music, no podcasts, no YouTubes, just quiet for like five minutes. That's the best way for, for the generation who's so used to being constantly activated with energy is to simply shut down the noise and the chaos so you can just feel the natural rhythm of your spirit energy flowing in your body because it is. It is. And all of the extra in-your-face kind of stuff like the notifications on Snapchat and the Instagram stuff coming in and the YouTube notifications and your friends texting you is so much diversion and distraction that from time to time, and it's like a super highway, okay, that communication channels are like getting on a highway and you're just driving, driving all the time. Well, guess what? You have to pull off the drive, you have to pull off the highway to go to the bathroom, to eat, to take care of your body needs and to sleep. So when you're on a road trip, you got to pull off, go to the bathroom, eat and sleep, right? And so think of it like that, taking care of your, your wellness as a spirit, tapping into yourself as a soul. If you want to tap into your potential, you've got to like five minutes Go outside. If you're at the apartment building, fine. If you're on a busy highway, fine. Doesn't matter. You go outside, sit on the front stoop, and just be there. Look up at the air, at the sky, so you can see just blue sky and fluffy clouds. Or look over at the park. Go to the park if you can. Or look at the trees on the boulevard. It doesn't matter if the traffic's going. If people are walking by, it does not matter. You focus on nature. The green of the grass, even if there's only a little the blue of the sky, the clouds in the sky, the, the warmth of the sun, sensory connection, the air, even if it doesn't smell good, doesn't matter, breathe in and out through your mouth then, connect with the element of air, connect, look up at the sky, see the blue, the blue vibrational energy, the high vibrational energy of blue, connect with green, look at the trees, the grass, that is an energy of healing. All you need to do is for five minutes, sit outside, turn off the phone, even pretend like you got earbuds in, just put your earbuds in, pretend like you're listening to something so that people leave you alone, because that's kind of the thing, right? People will leave you alone if you got earbuds in. Yeah, I do that too. <laughs> I'm not listening to anything, I just told people talking to me. And you just be in that space for five minutes, even if you have to set a timer on your phone for five minutes, ding, it goes off, you're done. It's kind of like, it, it has the same kind of response in your body as meditation has to start out with, okay? Just a few, just five minutes of that. Do it at least once a day. I'm talking to the kids, the younger people, you know, the 20 somethings or below. Do it like once a day if you can. If you, if you can, do it twice a day. Do it once like earlier in the day in the morning and then do it once in the evening. You can do it standing at the bus stop. It doesn't matter if you're in the city. It does not matter. You look up and look at the sky. It doesn't matter if it's raining. Oh, if it's raining, even better. Feel, even come out of that little shelter where the bus is. Put your arm out. Feel the, the rain. Connect with the water element. Or listen as the cars go by and the puddles splash. That's the water element. Listen to it. You know, if you hear the thunder rumbling, just oh, appreciate the energy of nature. That will help you to tap in to the natural flow and rhythm of your energy, which is where your unlimited potential is. Your fullest capacity for love is, it flows through you, inside of you. It's like a beautiful wellspring. It's like a, it's like a, like a fresh spring, like water, you know, that just comes from the earth. It's like that for you. And this is an easy way to begin to tap into that. So try that, try that, just start there. Okay. Um, so one of the things that I also wanted to do is I wanted to do I wanted to specifically talk about something that came up in the email and something that I have learned because I don't know, 
I didn't know what this was. <laughs> I like I'm I like to think I'm like open minded, but I'm really not all down with all the new terms of things and the lingo about stuff. And so this little piece kind of might seem a little out of place maybe even in this video now that I'm thinking about it, but I'm going to share it because so I had to look up, uh, you know what, actually, I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to ask my husband to edit this out, maybe. Um, I'm going to wait. I'm going to chat about this in a different video because it actually has to do with energy and male and female energy and meridians and how how all that works in the spirit side of things, gender. And so I think I'm going to do a video specifically about gender. So yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll do a separate video about gender stuff and chat about that. But so for, as a psychic mom, I hope that you found this video helpful, especially for the young people who are watching. And if you are a parent, I hope this also helps you <laughs> as well. All right, this is Bridget. This is Above Life Channel. You've listened to a chat video, and I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a little bit different than some of the other channeling videos that I do. Remember, though, the purpose here is always, always to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope, because this... <laughs> This is your life. It's your life. So live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.